There are three things in life that you can't escape. Death, taxes, and people hating Ellen DeGeneres on Twitter. In case you didn't know, Ellen DeGeneres is the lead host on one of the biggest talk shows of all time, Ellen. There was a long and detailed Twitter thread back in March in which a large number of people came forward with their stories of how Ellen had mistreated them when they worked on her show or even came on as guests. These included everything from demanding that interns not make eye contact or speak with her to chastising guests for interacting with the crew under the implication that they were somehow lesser people. Anyway, from there, it went from bad to worst. Basically, it's like every day is an episode of Scooby-Doo. A bunch of detectives walk around and discover that, surprise, the person you thought was nice was actually the villain. Except when you take off the mask, it's Ellen, and it's her every single time. To be honest, I didn't really care too much. I don't really watch Ellen. It's not one of those shows that I stop to watch if I accidentally turn on to it. I have nothing against her. I just never really found her funny or interesting. But yesterday, I saw a viral clip that was trending on Twitter where Ellen was making fun of a Mandarin-speaking kid on her show, and it really made me mad. I mean, after the hundreds and thousands of tweets and clips that I've seen of her being kind of like a shitty person. This is kind of the one was the breaking point that was just like, okay, I think I need to make a video on her and talk about her. So yeah, here, I'll show you the clip. And then now you're playing uh, guitar, electric guitar, right? Yes. Yeah. What else do you want to learn? Just one question. Just what else does he want? <laughs> I don't know what you're telling him, but just ask him what I'm saying. Okay, sorry. Just a little bit of a piece of music. Never mind. Okay. This is an example of attempting humor at the expense of others, which I'm fine with. I watch stand-up comedy and I love it where they make fun of people all of the time. But the way this clip comes off is like a double whammy. It's like you're making fun of a kid, a translator, and people who speak other languages all in the span of 15 seconds. So, uh, actually a triple whammy. And yeah, it's pretty embarrassing to watch because after the first joke flops, it seems like she just doubles down and tries it again, which makes it even worse. Anyway, yeah, Twitter was really angry to see this clip, and I mean really angry. One of the tweets with this clip had 50,000 likes on it, and another one had 190,000 likes on it. This was just within the span of one day. FYI, both had a title that basically said, I hate Ellen. On top of that, apparently, if you didn't know, there were three producers that were fired for allegations of sexual misconduct. Also, apparently, her show has officially been cancelled in Australia as of last night. Also, apparently, the show has finally upgraded its work perks where you can finally go to the doctor's office without losing money. Also, apparently, the show has finally given its workers five paid days off. I don't even get this in the first place. I've worked in terrible places in my time, but at the minimum, have always had been offered at least like 10 days paid vacations on an annual basis. So like, what the hell was going on? Were these people not allowed a day off? Like, Jesus Christ. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only going to get worse and worse. I honestly cannot believe how many insane things just keep getting discovered. You know when they say there's smoke, there's fire? Well, in this case, it actually appears to be hell itself, and the number of fires that keep getting discovered is potentially unlimited. Apparently, Ellen has tried to apologize for these events in the past. However, the apologies were shifting blame onto the three producers who got the boot, and not her herself. So she's only apologizing for what these three people did, not anything that she was personally involved with. Long story Story short, everybody hates Ellen and the Ella DeGeneres show, and the hate has only been growing worse and worse over the span of these past four to five months. At this rate, the show will most likely be canceled worldwide. I really don't see how Ellen will be able to turn this around. It's gotten past the point of redemption. Anything that she does at this point that may be nice or good will be justified as happening just because of the current predicament, not because she's a good person in itself, or that she wants to do good things without anyone telling her that she's already doing something bad. It's a classic hand in the cookie jar Me Too movement, and like I say all the time, it just is what it is. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say. I think Ellen is a poopy head, and I feel bad for the people who got mistreated on her show. The thing is, though, is that even if the show is fully canceled worldwide, she'll be fine because she's super rich, so she can just take her money and bounce. My guess is that we're on the brink of a full-blown meltdown apology where she finally owns up to everything that's being said to her on the internet. She'll probably also say she's taking a break and put the show on hiatus or something like that. Give people a few months to forget this ever happened, then come back like she's the second coming of Christ, and everyone will get over it. God bless America. Okay, I'm done for real. Bye.